Hey, so we're back. This is video two of three of understanding the KE Jetronic fuel system. And we're going to talk about failure points in the fuel distributor now. A lot of the failure points today from these fuel distributors originate from ethanol-based uh, fuel, and some people might actually call it contaminated gas. Um, I share that opinion just because gasoline and ethanol do not help older fuel system components, and it almost behaves or reacts like a contaminated fuel would with these components. Might be an argument for owning a diesel. <laughs> anyway, um, the first thing we're going to talk about is one of the most common failures, which is the EHA. And um, here's what EHAs do. They either do one of two things. They stop supplying the right amount of fuel pressure or they start to leak. So the simplest problem that goes wrong is if you go under the hood of your KE Jetronic injected Mercedes and you start to smell gas, chances are you have a leak from this guy. And chances are that as soon as you start the engine, when there's fuel pressure acting on it, it starts dripping out of this hole or this hole, this hole or this hole, or... Um, possibly these three small holes where the uh, item is assembled. It may also start leaking on the back side where that screw is inserted. But either way, this is a plastic metal combination, and because of that, it can fail. Now, the other thing is that when this guy goes bad and you have a cold start condition where the car will not start, and you put your finger on the airflow meter plate and you only have, well, let's say you have no detent. It's just all pressure. It is all firm. That indicates that this guy is um, letting too much fuel past. It's not regulating pressures. And you are uh, now stuck with a bad EHA and the car won't run. If you change it, chances are the car will go right back to normal. Uh, one of the ways you can determine if this thing has failed is you can crack one or two of the lines that go in the top of the fuel distributor and try cranking the car over. And if it dumps some of the excess pressure and the car is then able to start, you know that this is your problem. So let's put this aside for right now and go to fuel distributor issues. One really common issue with fuel distributors is that when they go bad, you get a ton of gas being dumped into the oil, and that's because the O-rings in these uh, ports, which are located deep inside the fuel distributor and help regulate pressure, have failed, and now you have uneven amounts of fuel going to different cylinders. This will cause rough running, excessive fuel consumption, hard starting, but worst of all, your oil will become contaminated with gasoline. And when that happens, uh, you get black smoke, white smoke, sluggish acceleration, and all sorts of bizarro world symptoms that you don't expect. Now, if you flip the fuel distributor over, you'll see this piston. Very frequently when cars sit, what ends up happening is the, the seals in here can go bad and fuel will just leak out of this base especially when you vroom, accelerate the engine and the throttle plate acts on this piston. Then fuel tends to dump out if those seals go bad and you get more smoke, more rough running. Finally, uh, another last issue that is very uncommon is you can get a situation where the car will not start when it's hot because all most of these O-rings have failed in the car leaks down and we'll talk about how to prevent that the, the fuel leaks down and we'll talk about how to prevent that in our next video so that you understand what makes a fuel distributor fail and what helps it last for a long time anyway thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe thank you for watching our videos and thank you for your patronage and enjoy driving about driving your mercedes and of course learning about it as well thank you